one silver lining to the lack of standardized sustainable investing terminology is that hopefully we're not likely to suffer from failure of the imagination. Because if we were rigid on what a sustainable company is, we could actually be missing some really great opportunities of companies who are contributing to solutions or who could be nudged in that direction or to do better through active engagement. For example, in our portfolio, we look for what we call Sustainable Business Advantages, or SBA. And briefly, that means that we're looking for situations where sustainability strategies demonstrably add to a company's strategy and financial performance in a positive way. And you can find these opportunities, better, cheaper, cleaner, greener, more productive, more efficient, just about anywhere in the economy, and you can build a diversified portfolio that meets these critical needs. Among healthcare companies, for example, it doesn't get much better than the value proposition of improving lives, saving lives, improving the efficiency and effectiveness of healthcare delivery. We find fundamentally sound, durable business models in life sciences, tools and diagnostics, medical devices, or data analytics that provide these solutions. Within industrial companies, I think the long-term winners are the companies that are disciplined operators that can do more with less or help their customers be more productive and more efficient. Within technology, there's clearly the secular trend of more data in more devices everywhere all the time. So we find great opportunities, for example, with the semiconductor companies that are providing uh, the right computational power or even power delivery for those workloads at the right time. Or the companies that are building out the infrastructure to connect more people while at the same time driving towards that net zero economy. And then there's digital transformation in industries that have historically underinvested in information technology that are ripe for disruption and a move towards more efficient, more productive versions of their industries in automotive, in buildings, in mining, manufacturing, and agriculture. What do all of these growth narratives have in common? You can't find this information on any standardized sustainability data set or another data set, financial or otherwise but you don't have to be paralyzed for lack of standardized data or regulation. Employ your industry knowledge, experience and insight, your investment objectives, and bolster all of that with sustainability information to find some really compelling growth stories going forward.